Hey guys, I'm um, just doing a quick review on this game. Uh, it's called Mirror's Edge. I already finished it, um, so I'm just gonna play one of the chapters. Once you start it, you will have to start mainly from the start, obviously. Um, so I'm just gonna go into this one and show you how it looks like. Let me just go into it. Um, Graphic-wise, it's a really good game, and I did finish it off since I really got into it. Um, I never actually read this. You can scroll down, down, down till it loads up, and then you can tap on continue. Um, so this is just a really quick preview of what you're gonna see um, if you download this game. I do like it just for iPad. I tried it on my iPhone. I didn't like it as much. It's basically just a swipe type of game. Um, so you can see if there's little different types of swipes that you have to do. Like if you go down, you do that. Um, also if you get up, let me see if I don't get a hit. I can show you the other type of swipe that you do here. Um, okay, didn't work. Okay, so it's a, just a game about swiping, pretty much. However, um, it does make you think of where to go and all the controllers that you have to do. Um, it is pretty cool since it's almost like a puzzle. However, once you die, you do have to start from the checkpoint before, and uh, that's kind of annoying, but... Um, that's what makes it exciting too, so, um, other than that, it's a pretty cool game, um, there's a, a few things that you can do, it's all about swiping once again, as you can see my fingers right now, um, for iPad I really like it, like I said, And this game actually does require a little bit of concentration, so if you want to just pass the time, um, you will constantly die, and um, you will get into it just a bit. However, I was disappointed once I finished all the chapters. It finishes up pretty fast. Um, I played other games like Grand Theft Auto, and I still don't finish that one. This one, I finished it pretty fast. Um, just two days I, I finished it up. I didn't play constantly but I, I did play it quite a bit. Um, Grand Theft Auto I play almost every day. Um, I don't do all the missions just because in Grand Theft Auto you can do whatever you want basically. In this game you do have to get to the end and it does make you think a little bit the game so that's that's a good thing. Um, so it is a little bit challenging however once you get the hang of it, you can skip a lot of stuff, um, like the graphics are really good, um, if you're considering buying this game, just remember that it doesn't have that many chapters, so you will finish the game pretty fast, and besides that, it's a really good game, I would give it for graphics a 9 out of 10, just because it could have been a little bit better, um, for functionality, it's really good. Although you just swipe, you do have to control your movements a lot and uh, get a little bit of concentration there. Um, other than that, the music they couldn't improve on. It's not the best. As you can see, I just finished one chapter and then you go to the next one. So some are really short and other ones are good. Um, a bit longer. It does take you a little bit longer, obviously, if you're not used to it. But once you get used to it, you just go one after the other. Um, so that's my review about this game. I do think it's worth buying it if you're getting a discount or if if you don't mind um, the short chapters and just a quick game to play. Um, on the iPad I find that it's much better than on the iPhone. I really never got used to playing this on my iPhone but on iPad I found it much better, uh, much easier to play as well. So other than that guys um, in overall rating I would give it a 7 out of 10 just because the game's so short and I'm basically repeating what I did before here and um, some parts just don't make sense in the game 
Um, and that's it. Anyways, guys, if you guys like my review, please don't forget to per put like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel just to help me out. Thanks a lot, guys, and don't forget to comment.